Well, the Indiana Biosciences Research Institute has a new leader. Dr. Alan Palkowitz is taking the reins at the nonprofit Research Institute as president and CEO. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta joins us now with the introduction. Kylie. Well, thank you, Gary. Founded about 10 years ago, IBRI's mission is to bridge university investigators with life sciences companies to spark innovations that can have an impact on human health. Dr. Palkowitz has experience in both worlds. He spent 28 years at Eli Lilly and Company, followed by two years at the IU School of Medicine, where he's a senior research professor of medicine. He'll continue to wear his IU School of Medicine hat as he takes over the president and CEO role at the Research Institute. He joins me now to tell us more about his vision for IBRI. Dr. Palkowitz, thanks for being on the show today. Uh, thanks, Kylie. Okay, Great so I sure IBRI's mission is to bridge academic research and the private industry. And you mentioned off camera this is this is a really interesting time scientifically here in our life sciences community in Indiana. Can you explain that? Yeah. Well, thank you. So um, when I when I look at the landscape, the scientific landscape, and starting, for example, here at IBRI, there's already been some tremendous work that's been initiated, um, focused on translational medicine and trying to advance disease understanding. And I look at that as just part of a larger concentration of, of talent and capabilities that, that are part of, of our Midwest community. So, for example, when you look at I, IU, when you look at Purdue, when you look at Notre Dame, companies like Lilly and Roche, it really is a very fertile environment to continue to, to build initiative and, and focus on, on transforming human health. And, and that's really central to where IBR will fit in as we move forward as a key partner in, in that enterprise. So the announcement came uh, just days ago that you would be taking over there as president and CEO. Uh, tell us a little bit about your vision for IBRI moving forward. Well, this is something that will evolve over time, but what I really want to see for IBRI is to really emerge as a, as a key um, innovator and a key um, uh, leader of innovative science that focuses on human health for, for Indiana, but really for, for the world. And, and to do that, we're going to have to really work on becoming and establishing you know, our own uh, uh, having excuse me, our own identity as, as a scientific leader, but also emerges as an invaluable partner that can work with uh, the, the broader community to work on problems that are bigger than any individual organization to really move move uh, human health forward. And so that will be a very, very key part of, of, of what, I, what I work on, what I work to establish. But ultimately, we also want to um, contribute to growing the life science community here by, by working on initiatives that create jobs to, to bring and retain talent and really uh, uh, help the Midwest and Indiana and the broader Midwest emerge as a real powerhouse in, 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 in advancing human health. And that's really what I'll be working to, to create with the team here. Uh, speaking of talent, some pretty exciting news at IBRI. You're opening your new headquarters at the 16 Tech Innovation District. Talent uh, Attracting talent is a huge focus in that new district. Um, that project's really coming to life in Indianapolis now as it opened its Building One, which is where your new headquarters will be. Tell us about the significance of IBRI being located at 16 Tech. Well, I, I think, you know, as you said, we're in a Innovation Building One, which is really the cornerstone of, of the 16 Tech community. And, and being here, being one of the first tenants, puts us really at the nexus point of, of, a, of a tremendous focus on the community and an and expectation for growing the, 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 this um, this this whole enterprise around us that we really grow the the, the uh, biomedical community. So we're going to be uh, at, at, at the intersection of a lot of key discussions, a lot of key investment, a lot of key scientific collaborations, and so that is really important for us uh, to really be at that at that focal point. And you know, I, I think that will really help propel our identity, but also very importantly, um, really bring a, the community together with with this common mission uh, to really uh, advance uh, human health and and, and build a, a broader. Uh, enterprise for the Midwest. And those open labs look amazing at your new headquarters. We're showing video of them. Hopefully scientists will be filling those labs soon. Uh, so your background includes 28 years at Eli Lilly, followed by two years in counting at the IU School of Medicine. So you've lived in both worlds, uh, the private industry as well as academic. How will that background help you as you lead IBRI? Well, you know, from an ex experience standpoint, I've been able to, you know, work across the whole translational spectrum from all the way from basic research to actually taking medicines in, in, into patients and all the way through the uh, drug approval process. And, and that's across many different disease areas. So that, from a scientific foundation, you know, I think that is, is a good prep for this role. Um, but and on top of that, I've had the great experience of working with many passionate scientists and helping them to realize their ambitions to change the world through their work. 
And so that experience of, of, how, of how to build teams, how to help te uh, scientists grow uh, their careers and have an impact is something that I think translates across uh, uh, industry as well as to the academic and, and the, the IBRI setting, which in itself has its own unique uh, aspects to it. On top of that, I think um, my experience uh, is, is also uh, taught me a lot about the business dimensions of, uh, of what we do. We have to be able to translate funding into meaningful outcomes um, to move science forward, but also um, achieve these overarching goals to actually create uh, ways to, to, to grow the community and bring business development. And so those are things that I have as part of my background that I'll, I'll really try to leverage uh, in, in, in marrying all the forces that are necessary to, to, to advance our, our, our goals and our mission. All right. Well, Dr. Palkowitz, you're looking great in your new digs there. So keep us posted on all the great things that IBRI does as you move forward in your new headquarters. Thanks for being on the show today. Well, thank you, Kylie. It was great to be here, and, and we'll definitely uh, keep you posted. Very good. Gary, back to you. All right, Kylie, thank you. Great interview.